And what does Bebe mean to you? Man, Bebe is he the goat? He's the goat. I, I like it's, it's like there's no in betweens on it. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. And what does Bebe mean to you? Man, Bebe is he the goat? He's the goat. I, I like it's, it's like there's no in betweens on it. Only reason I say that because Bebe put us. He he helped us get in position to for me to understand a lot of different motions and movements and how to god dang network with different individuals. And then as a as a guy that was just only dancing, the first time Bebe sent us to Shreveport and me watching him like talk and control the crowd, I was like, all right, that's what I want to do. I don't want to rap. Because everybody wanted me to rap. Hit that man, you might as well be a rapper. You got the swag. They know I know how to talk. You know what I'm saying? You might as well go make you a song. But I seen Baby, I was like, nah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna MC. I wanna control the crowd. I wanna make everybody touch their toes. I wanna make everybody spin around and do the hokey pokey. Mm -hmm. Like, look at this man doing. Look, look at the, the influence he have on the, the culture out here. So I was like, man, I want that for Dallas. And we we didn't have nobody like that. We had DJs, we had rappers. We didn't have nobody that had a right. voice of the city that was actually from the city. So, like, Bebe, we always have powwows, you know what I'm saying? And watching him, he's just watching his motions, even if he don't talk to me or whatever, what he always do, it just, he's like a he's like a mentor. You can, you can watch him and be like, all right, this is how you need to move. Or this is how you need to move. Because everybody need a person that they look up to as far as like, hey, that's the big homie. All right, look how he move. He don't do this, he don't do that. But he do do this. All right, he do he might do that wrong, so let me fix that so I don't have to go through that. Mm -hmm. So that's how I look at Bebe. Like he a big dog. Like he Was he one of the reasons that you ended up on K one oh four? I don't I don't I don't, probably so because one thing I always I always, I've grown to learn the things that people say behind closed doors and behind my back puts me in a in a win win situation. Or a lose lose situation. I could bet my probably my last dollar in my pocket that he was probably in my favor on on my position. He could have been in one of those rooms. He could have. Mm. I, I I I will bet it. I don't know, but I could bet that that's just because he's always been genuine to me. You know how people be like, "Hey man, I don't fuck with him because so, so. I can't say that. You want? I can't have no ill will intent. You know what I'm saying on, yeah. on this man. You know what I'm saying because he done did too much to put me in position to be who I am. Mm -hmm. So, I get it, man. Um, like I said, I asked you that because it seemed like you know the relationship would have to be there as long as you've been at that radio station. So I was just yeah. trying to you two know brothers so working at a radio station. They should be you know, and both of y'all dark skin niggas. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah, we yeah, players. You know, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I always say, man, hey, man, dark skin niggas is players. I don't care. I don't know. I mean, if even if they're not player, they just play. So you know, y'all got to do is act <laughs> eight later on to get them right. But hey, man. <laughs> Man, I mean, so. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.